Tavis Aidy, violinist and music educator, back today with another lesson in my series called Essential Elements for Strings, Book 1. This lesson series is for violin and viola, but cello and bass players can also follow along. Don't forget there's a link down below if you don't know how to tune your violin. Also, you can watch a previous lesson where I showed you how to rosin your bow. So you're going to open up your book, Essential Elements for Strings, or Essential Elements 2000 for Strings, open it up to page 20, and we're going to introduce something called eighth notes. Eighth notes have beams that go horizontally and connect the notes. And each of those eighth notes is half of a beat, which means a half plus a half equals one whole beat. So you have two eighth notes in one whole beat. And if you read the top of page 20 in the theory section, it's going to tell you all this stuff. Two or more eighth notes have a beam across the stems. You can also have four notes that are connected by that beam, and those are all eighth notes. But let me show you what eighth notes sound like. Eighth notes sound like this. There are two sounds inside of one click. Two notes in a beat. That's what we just talked about. Here's a bunch of eighth notes. T, T, those are two sounds in one beat, eighth notes, or ta, ta, one sound per click, those are quarter notes. Number 66, the rhythm wrap. What we do for rhythm wraps is we put our bow on the string, on a D string, and just play the rhythm. You go ahead and get ready. I'm going to play it first, so just listen. T, 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 ta, ta, T, 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 ta, ta. Rest. So go ahead and do that with me now. Ready? One, two, number 66, go. And eighth notes, quarter, quarter, eight, 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 quarter, quarter, eight, 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 eight quarter, rest. Let's do it on an A string, number 66. One, two, on the A string, go. Pepperoni pizza, tee 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 ta. Rest. These rhythm raps help you get ready for the song that's coming up. Here's 67. I'll play it once. Three fingers on the A string, and then I'm gonna count, and you're gonna play. So stay ready to play. My turn. Get ready. Turn. Good. One more time. Get ready to play. One, two, three, and start now. Eight, you have quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter. Can you do that in 68 on an open D string? My turn. Ta, ti, ti, 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 ta. Your turn. Ready? Go. Number 69, D major scale up, has that same rhythm. Remember, the rhythm rap gets you ready for the next song. My turn. D, 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 E, F sharp. Ready for open D? Now, play. Rest. One more time. See if you could say 
ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. Remember ta, ta, those are quarter notes. Ti, 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 those are eighth notes. Get ready to play. Number 69, D major scale up. One, two, ta's and ti, ti's go. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. Rest. Don't forget, if a quarter note's longer than two eighth notes, then the eighth notes need less bow to sound. So, ta, long bow, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long. And as you can see, I'm going kind of to the upper half of the bow, short, short. In the upper half, I play the two eighth notes, then back to the kind of the lower half. So what that is called is bow distribution. I'm distributing my bow so I don't play like this. <laughs> That's kind of wacky, right? So to counteract that, what you need to do is use less bow for smaller notes. And the quarter notes are longer than the shorter eighth notes. So they get more bow, quarter, and less bow for the little notes. And here comes a quarter, long bow. Little long, little long, little long, little long. Can you try that with me a few thousand times? Bow distribution, I'm distributing my bow correctly. Ready? Two, three, long bow first. Long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long. The little eighth notes need less bow. So here's hot cross bonds, and you can read some of the orange stuff, the theory stuff on your own later, but we want to get to hot cross bonds. My turn. I'll do it again. Long, 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 that's called legato. Legato, sh smaller bows, long, long, long. Here we go, here's 70 with the metronome. Two, three, and play now. Little bows. Long bows, one more time, bow lift, bow lift. One more time. Lift your bow, go. All right, number 71, I'm just gonna play it for you so you can get an idea of what that sounds like. Don't forget, you're gonna wanna practice two measures at a time, then three times in a row, then the next two measures three times in a row, and then add it together like Legos, like we talked about before. But we, we want to move on, so I'm just going to play 71 for you so you get an idea of what it sounds like. Did you see the bow lift? Go ahead and pause the video now to practice that. Here's the top of page 21. The rhythm rap number 72, which is going to get you ready for one of the harder songs you've played, Buckeye Salute, but here's 72 rhythm rap. Let's put your bow on the E string and see if you can do it with me. One, two, three, now. Again, go. Good. Let's try it on the G string. So remember, change your arm level, raise your arm to the G string, keep your arm level. 
like you're putting it on somebody's shoulder or you're petting a horse. Here we go on the G string. We're going to play number 72, the rhythm rap. Ready? Two, three, go. Again, long, little, little, long, little, little, long, 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 little, little, long, little, little, long. Remember, long on the quarters, little, 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 on the eighth notes. Buckeye salute, I'm going to play it once. Second line. All right, so why don't we attack this song by doing two measures at a time, then you can pause the video and practice those two measures on your own three times in a row. Here we go. I'll play the first two measures and then you play the first two measures. Wait. One, two, three, your turn now. Two more times. Ready, now, play. One more time. Two, three, now, play. Third and fourth measure, my turn. Wait, third and fourth measure, now your turn. Wait, two more times, ready, go. One more time. Ready? Now. Third measure. Stop. First and second measure of the second line. Here we go. That's the fifth and sixth measure. My turn. Listen. Wait. Ready? Now your turn. Two more times. Ready, now, play. Wait. One more time. Ready, second line, go. Ready for the last two measures, my turn. Wait, listen. Get ready for the last two measures. Now, play. Wait two more times. Now, play. Wait, last two measures. Now, play. Good work. Now what do we do? So we just played two measures at a time, three times in a row. And don't forget, if you messed up, you're going to have to pause the video and practice those two measures starting over at zero. Now what we do is we add them all together like our Lego set. Remember, we polished all the Lego pieces. Now we put back all the pieces into one big song. Here's number 73, Buckeye Salute. Let's play it twice. One, two, three, now. One more 
more time. Lift your bow, go. Dance a little bit. Big bows. Little, little, big. Little, little, big. Good. Really good work. What you're going to want to do is really practice that song, maybe about a thousand times even, and when you get it the way you want it, and you can play it three times in a row with no big mistakes, give yourself a sticker, all right, folks? I'm going to give my self a sticker on 73 because I really got that one. I got it. All right, we're going to go on to two, four time signature. Don't forget when you have a two over four, the measures are not four beats each. The measures are two beats each, and you can have two quarter notes per measure or any combination of rhythms that equal two beats. In the Rhythm Wrap 74, you can do that on your own. I'm going to go ahead and play 75 and 76 for you so you hear what they sound like. And when we're done with this video today, you can keep practicing 75 and 76. In 4-4 four, four time, we count it to 4, right? But in 2-4 time, I'm going to count to 2. So just listen. 1, 2... Was 75 here's 76 with a first and second ending you're really going to want to read the theory section right in your book where it tells you to play to the first ending repeat back to the beginning and the second time through skip over the first ending and go to the second ending i'll show you what that sounds like remember i'm going to count to two you don't have to play right now you can just listen and watch the notes point to the notes one two Repeat to the beginning without stopping. Second line. Now I'm going to skip right here. The second time I skip to the second line. First and second ending. All right, good job. Kavis 80 saying thank you so much for practicing with me all the way to the end of this video. This was a hard one, so go ahead and give yourself a sticker. Ask your parents if they can take you out to ice cream after you show them Buckeye Salute. What you're going to want to do is click the subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of new lessons that pop up as they do. Also, take a look at my Essential Elements playlist over there. You're going to want to hit on that plus sign, click save, and that way you can go back to a previous lesson in case you missed it and practice that for a week. All right, I hope you have a good night and type a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Peace.